He did choke. He absolutely choked. If by he you mean Aaron Rodgers, why are you trying to shift Aaron, the blame Aaron off Rogers of Aaron Rodgers? Read my lips. Aaron Rodgers choked. Whoa. Aaron Rodgers choked. I haven't heard anybody say I, that. Here's the bottom line. He and Tom Brady were playing each other, and there was enormous legacy on the line. Enormous. Because people like me, and I really believe, like, I'm shocked that it went down the way it did. Thought, come on, everyone knows Rodgers is better than Brady. Talk to anyone who's played against either guy. They're like, of course Rodgers is better. Rodgers has all the decision-making plus much more talent. Brady was going to be great wherever he was, but lucky that he was with Belichick. And I don't care how loaded the Bucks are. Brady went to nine Super Bowls with Belichick, barely lost three of them. And then goes to Tampa, and I don't care how loaded they are. He's in the Super Bowl again, year one. Belichick was seven and nine. Yeah, Brady stacked the deck in his favor, but whatever. And Brady wasn't even great last night until he needed to be. Then he made the plays. Let's go back to the end of the second half. Aaron Rodgers had three shots to link up with Devontae Adams. They'd have scored a touchdown. They blew it. They blew it. If Rodgers had passed more accurately, they would have scored a touchdown. He was unable to link up with Devontae Adams. They kicked the field goal. That also led to a decision to go for an extra point instead of, uh, instead of just, you know, uh, kicking a point, right? So, so they're going for eight instead of seven. They wind up with six. They had to kick a field goal instead of score a touchdown. Those points added up. In fact, it's the margin of defeat, the margin of victory for Tampa. But that's at the end of the half. Remember how, remember how Brady responded? Took him right down the field. And threw a touchdown pass. Now, what happened late in the game on the play you're talking about with LaFleur? You're trying to somehow shift the blame to LaFleur. Oh, he shouldn't have kicked the field goal. Yeah, he shouldn't have kicked the field goal. Of course, they should have gone for it. What happened on the previous play? Tom Brady, excuse me, Aaron Rodgers had daylight. He would have run it in for a touchdown. Worst case scenario for the Packers, they'd have got him on the one-yard line. You know what would have happened? LaFleur would have gone for it. If they were on the one-yard line, LaFleur, if it's, if it's, if it's fourth and goal, LaFleur goes for it. They weren't. Rodgers made a bad decision. Rodgers is better than Tom Brady in every single aspect of the game up until it matters most. And then Tom Brady's better than Aaron Rodgers. And that's why the Bucs are going to the Super Bowl and in his entire career, Rodgers, who they won 13 games last year, is going to be the MVP this year, improved from last year, this year, with the money on the line, didn't come through when Tom Brady did, and that's why the Bucs are going to the Super Bowl and the Packers aren't. That's just the most asinine opinion I've ever heard you give. Aaron Rodgers choked, please. Aaron Rodgers was born. Tom Brady said, actually was really, really struggling in the second half with his three interceptions, okay? He was overthrown. He was underthrown. He threw in three interceptions. He missed open receivers. Don't get me started with that. That's number one. Number two. Yes, Aaron Rodgers could have ran for the touch, or at least come close to the goal line on the third down play. I get that. Aaron Rodgers specifically said he thought he had four downs. He might have approached things differently in the event that he knew that the coach was going to sit up there and not go for it on fourth down because you were in a four, you were in a first and goal kind of situation. Aaron Rodgers said that. Matt LaFleur is on the record. LaFleur is on the record stating that the communication between the two should have been better. He said, he sat up there and said he should have let him know. He should have made him, he should have made him recognize the kind of mindset that he had. So he wasn't communicating with his quarterback, just like he wasn't communicating with his defensive coordinator when he sat up there and, then, and left Kevin King alone, get burnt all day, just schooled. You're gonna sit up there and leave him in single coverage with no help over the top, with six seconds left in the half with Tom Brady as your quarterback. And then the most egregious part of it all, the fourth and goal play, where you took the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands. Why do you do that, Max Kellerman? Let's dissect that for one second here. He's a six-time champion. He's been the nine Super Bowls. The dude's record, his play in the clutch, which Molly could articulate just as well as anybody, okay, is well chronicled. You sit up there and take the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands with two minutes and five seconds left because you want your defense to prevent Tom Brady from getting a first down. Not driving down the field for a time touchdown. Not driving down the field needing a field goal. All he needed was a first down. Stop and you're field. gonna sit up there and hand Tom Brady the ball back 
when all he needs is a first down? Do you have any idea how dumb that is on Matt LaFleur's it, part? It, I agree, <laughs> but if not for the P.I. call, they would have stopped him. And by the way, Hold they on, missed the holding not, call on Worth on the same play. If not for the P.I. call, the guy would have caught the pass because the reason he had kept oh, the pass. Oh, I don't even know if that was uh, catchable. Excuse me, you, you could say that, but his, again, the guy's jersey was ranked. It was yanked. And that on the same play, Wirfs held the defender. The right tackle held the defender. And I know some people on Twitter are going, oh, no, he Choked. didn't actually hold because there's a rule in place that if you get under – No, no. Choked. If you looked at the whole play, Wirfs hooked him early, rode him the whole way. Okay. It was textbook holding. Okay. And they didn't call that. Okay. But okay. I'm not looking to blame a play I'm, or a call or a missed call. I'm not looking to blame a coach. I gave you a litany of examples of how to coach coach this I'm game. I'm not looking to blame a coach – Whatever you say that cuts this way and that way, Rodgers had chances in this game where he didn't come through and Tom Brady did, period. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.